At the FBI Milwaukee headquarters Wednesday, an admission, trust between police and the public needs work. We don't always get it right. Uh, did we execute everything well during the course of uh, the disturbances? No, we didn't. And um, have we and are we doing ongoing real-time evaluations of who we are and what we're all about? Yes. That, according to the 11 law enforcement leaders present, includes increased training on implicit bias. How many hours in the training process is that? We have not firmed that up yet. In the recruit academy, it is either four or eight hours. A couple different blocks, diversity training, cultural competency, and a couple others that I'll touch on the same topic in the academy for each, each officer. And does it happen just that one time when you're training to be an officer, or is there a follow-up? Different departments have different training regiments, but yes, it is not unusual for that to occur. So we want uh, that type of training uh, there in our communities. Um, we're going to have to uh, raise the money so that, again, the Milwaukee Police Department and all 19 municipalities and the sheriff's office in Milwaukee County for this group, money and funding, as the sheriff mentioned, can help or hinder the effort to bridge the divide. That part of the discussion tonight at 10. In St. Francis, Derek Rose, WISN 12 News.